Hi friends, good afternoon. So in the previous session, we have discussed about the uh, important uh, topic that is the D and the uh, F block elements. So in that uh, D and F block elements, so we have started the already D block elements. A small introduction. So what is meant? Uh, what is meant by D block element? And why the D block elements are called as transition elements? And what is the group number? That is a uh, three to twelve. So group one to two, they are called as S block elements. Group three to twelve are called as D block elements. Group three to twelve, they are called as D block elements. And uh, thirteen to eighteen, so they are called as P block elements. And what's the condition for a D block element? It's said to be a transition element. Nothing but it should be contains a complete, sorry, partially filled at D orbital. Partially filled D orbital is nothing but D one to nine. So one question I will write for D one to nine. Five D orbitals are the maximum number of electrons in D orbitals. That is a ten. So the ten completely filled as well. That is considered as a non-transition element. So this is a condition. So what are the electronic configuration? That is noble gas or N minus one D one to ten. Ns one to two. That is a general electronic configuration for D block elements. So there will be D block elements starts with the atomic number scandium. That is twenty one. The uh, element name is scandium. So they are in four series, three D, four D, five D, and six D series. And there is a configuration for three D series elements, four D, five D, and six D series elements that also have discussed in the previous session. And uh, some exceptional electronic configuration. Especially, we are going to study in detail about the three D black elements. In that three D black elements, the two important elements have an exceptional electronic configuration. So one is called as chromium, and another is called as copper. So chromium has the atomic number twenty four, and it has the configuration argon. Ad5 or S1 because due to extra stability of D5 configuration. D5 is nothing but it is exactly of field configuration. So at the same time, copper having the configuration, exceptional configuration that is argon 3D10 4S1. So why it is so? Because 3D10 is completely filled and it gets the extra stability. So and uh, during the ionization, so one more thing very very important. So ionization, nothing but electron on the remove orbit. That's why first you have to remove the electron from 4s. After that you have to remove the electron from 3d. But film orbit, that's why according to our four principle, first we have to fill up the electrons in 4s. After that uh, 3d according to the energy order in the case of orbitals. So these are the concepts we have discussed in the previous session. And with the continuation part, so that is another important topic that is physical properties of the black elements. That is physical properties of properties of D block elements. So, what are the physical properties of D block elements? So, nothing but so that is a melting point, enthalpy of atomization. So, and also the uh, boiling point, uh, density. So, how it is varies, and um, what are the which elements have the highest density, which elements have the highest melting point. So, these are all the concepts that we are going to study under this physical properties. So, first one, usually we know that D black elements are metals. So, we have the non-metals for the energy. All the D black elements are metals since the metals are good conductors of heat and electricity because due to presence of free electrons. Electrons here in the metals and they they are the good conductors of heat and electricity. So, I think in the physical properties of D black element, since all the D black elements are metals, even though the metals are argued on in the so you know that these are the good conductors of good conductors of Heat and electricity. They are the good conductors of heat and electricity due to presence of. Yeah, they are good conductors. I hear that. So conductivity is mainly due to conductance. So another another reason I'll put it. One do due to the presence of electrons or in aqueous solution of salts. So another one. For example, aqueous solution of NaCl. So another one. So in blue salt, you get there is a good conductor, and the electricity pass out of that. Reason is under in this case, this is called as electrolyte, and when it is dissolved in water, it can be split up into two ions due to moment of these ions they conduct electricity. So at the same time, so another important point is so metals only conductivity or the conductance is under under because due to presence of free electrons, due to presence of free electrons. So metals only pair from zero to zero definitely they are the good conductors of heat and electricity. That's first physical property. And the second one, so they shows the malleability property, malleability and ductility, malleability and ductility. So what is the meaning? So malleability is nothing but they are converted into thin sheets. 
pin sheets are uh, flattened flatten into pin sheets like the mark on board. and the decorated nothing but they are drawn into thin wires so all the property are there in the deep black elements so second and third important property this shows the lustrous property this shows lustrous property lustrous property nothing but shiny property so deep black elements shows the lustrous property or shiny property that is a very important one so next one is they are usually they are hard and tough. They are usually hard and they are tough. So yeah, they are hard and tough. Right? So it is the start of the reason for them. Okay. So why the black elements are usually hard and tough? And also they are having high tensile strength. And also they are having high tensile strength. High tensile strength. Tensile strength nothing but they can be bent into any shape. So our metals will become a yaw shape if they come up more to So that is the tensile strength of meaning. And hard and tough. Yeah, you do hardness just here there. Toughness just here there. Tensile strength yeah, just here there. Because in the case of the metal, there is important bonding. So that bonding is called as metallic bonding. So due to strong metallic bonding, due to strong metallic bonding or bond, in the case of the transition elements, in deep black elements, usually they are hard and tough and they have high tensile strength. So one more the reasons here. Usually transition elements or deep black elements are hard and tough and have the high tensile strength. Give reason on the given because of the strong metallic bond between the atoms. So atoms are gonna have the strong metallic bond with that. So definitely they are having the higher, then we have hard and tough and having the high tensile strength. So and one more is so usually, so their melting point, so the density of the another important one is density. So here is that there is a one important question. So density is not the other So now 3D black elements in the study model, usually, now we have not series elements of the water, 3D, 4D, 5D, 60 series of the water. Generally, we can say all the D black elements are in the higher density, right? And the other thing, comparatively, comparatively, yes, and D black elements are compared to the D black elements only. Density just here then the entire But in the reason in that we know that density formula density is equal to mass divided by one. So you get more more here to have more reasons for that. Yeah, can you get in the case of deep black element usually density just here then the That is the density is higher in the case of a transition elements or in the case of deep black elements. So reason in that right? density depends on mass as well as volume. So in mass in the end that that is called atomic mass. On the element and the one the atomic number is the atomic mass is the here the density is directly proportional to mass. So now we have to the series and observe body 3D, 4D, 5D series and body. atomic number just the other out of that. As usual, atomic number just the other atomic mass just the other as the atomic mass increases, definitely density also increases. That is the one reason. Second, volume and other effect are the same. Volume effect are the yak and then right. So along the new size across the period of another. I can be all these series elements and absorb money, all elements so across the period are jagged. That is in case of 3D, 4D, and 5D, and also 60 series elements. So we know that in the first place, we classification of elements to study money across the period what happens the size, across the period and down the group the mandaga, across the period, size is also on decreases. Because due to increasing in effectivity or charge. So again, if you down the group on the definitely size increases because down the group on the new shell are a power. So let me take a simple example: lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium. Lithium has the outermost configuration 2s1. Atomic number 3, 1s2, 2s1 on the entry. Next to the sodium, sodium is outermost configuration 3s1 on the world. Potassium is outermost configuration 4s1 on the world. And then down the group on the new shell are there. Nothing but the principal quantum number of the shell is goes on in pieces. So nothing but here and there. So nucleus is the one that this is the first shell on the corner. So this is the second shell on the corner. This is the third shell on the corner. As the principal quantum number of the valence shell increases. What happens to size? Size is goes on at the radius increases. As the radius increases, nothing but size is also increases across along a group. So this is the concept. But deep black elements are not there. They are arranged across a period. So period of arrange again. The size is not there. Atomic radius is not there. So atomic radius is not there. Size is not there. So at the same time, volume also decreases. So volume per not there. The density is not there. Just the other. So, we can explain the density of the d black elements or transition elements based on the mass as well as the volume. You don't know the experiment. So, therefore, generally we can say that generally the d black elements have the highest density. 
so because of increasing the atomic mass across the period and at the same time so volume enakta hota karna anta barutte so because of decreasing the size and one more thing you have to concentrate in the case of deep like elements all i said there is strong metallic bond metallic bond strong in terms of stay and are there kadame nimige atom atom madhe interaction athu atom atom madhe irukana force athu distance enakta hota karna anta barutte so because of strong metallic bond also we can consider x minus density but main factor mass and volume anta konbe kadre explain maabodu So that is the concept. Yeah. But in a pretty serious element, we must concentrate on that. So that is starts with the scandium, and that is ends with the zinc. Atomic number twenty one in the thirty one group. So here in the observer money twenty one atomic number in the thirty one group. So it will be have this this copper and the atomic number twenty nine. So now in the observer more by that from scandium to copper there is a significant increasing in the density. So density is not over there. Just the above. So from scandium to copper, other than scandium, we have titanium. Then scandium titanium, we have density difference. As to what is it? Little difference. It is three point four three around the area. It is four point zero one of the number of density. So other than titanium, the most important of the copper one, there is a significant increase in density. But at the end, single in our area, there is slightly decrease in density. Slightly decrease. So in that, we will answer the question. Here, also in the case of three D series elements. Which element has the highest density in the carbon? Or the right, the copper. So in zinc, the number is there. There is a slightly decreases in density. Slightly decreasing in density in the case of zinc. I mean, just like the example in case of copper. So from scandium to copper, there is an increase in density, but slightly decreases in the case of zinc. So one more clearly, name the three D black element has the highest density in the carbon. To write as a copper and transfer for the carbon. And one more thing, so entire D black element is not the same. Entire D black element is there, but includes three D, four D, five D, six D series elements are not the same. The highest density for iridium, that is iridium. Iridium that is coming under the cobalt, cobalt, rhodium, iridium, and that is all the other. So iridium has the highest density compared to all the elements in the block. At the same time, lowest density in the that is this one, that is scandium. Scandium is a low having the lowest density, and iridium has the highest density compared to all the D block elements, including 3D, 4D, 5D, and 6D series elements. But 3D series elements are part of that. Because that copper is having the highest density, there is a little bit decrease in the zinc. So that's about the concept of uh, density. And uh, one more important physical property that's another very important that is called as enthalpy of atomization. Enthalpy of atomization. I think this is a new word. That's a new concept. Enthalpy of atomization. Meaning that there is enthalpy is nothing but heat and density according to our thermodynamics. Atomization and the formation of free atoms. So we know that metal sometimes that consists of the crystal lattice. On the lattice sometimes the one thing, for example, let me take this is the crystal lattice. This is the crystal lattice sometimes it is boring. Now this is called the lattice points sometimes. So we are going to study the lattice points concept in the case of solid state chapter. That's the first chapter in the second year. You see. So again, I'm telling you that metal and the one that in the lattice points, what are the constituent particles? The constituent particles of metal lattice. So the constituent particles are there. The metal atoms with the lattice points are there. The lattice points with the with the kind of metal center are there. There is a strong interatomic force of attraction between the atoms. And the between the atoms center are there. There is a strong interatomic force there. And there, there is a strong bond between the metal atoms. So if I tell you, heat matter. So if metal crystal are not atomic, then heat matter will be there. Okay? If the metal crystal lattice center with the kind of metal atoms center are there, they will get free. Free atom, so Andre. So these atoms get a free, free atom side can not break. So the free atom side break Andre, they have to break the force of attraction between the metal atoms. What is the force? That force is called as an interatomic force of attraction in the category. That is, a strong interatomic force is present between the atoms. Therefore, to make the atoms free in the crystal lattice, a crystal lattice only. Now, our metals are free for break. We have to break the strong interatomic force. Nothing but a bond between the strong, the strong bond between the atoms. So, to break or break, we require a large amount of heat. So that's why that is the meaning. Enthalpy of atomization, Andre. That is a heat. Required to break the metal lattice to get the free atoms. 
ಆ ಫ್ರೀ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅಂದಾಗ ಸರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರೀ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ವ ಸರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರೀ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಆಟಮಿಕ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಆಟಮಿಕ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಆಟಮಿಕ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಆಟಮಿಕ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಟೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಟೈಟ್ಲಿ ಅವೇನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ಬಾಂಡ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ನ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಲೀಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಹೀಟ್ ಆ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಹೀಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ದಟ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ದೇ ಗೆಟ್ ಫ್ರೀ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೀಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಟು ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ದ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಫ್ರೀ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೋಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಎಂಥಾಲಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಯೂಶಲಿ ದಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಷನ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹೈಯರ್ ಎಂಥಾಲಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಎಂಥಾಲಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಅಂತ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಮಯ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ರೀಸನ್ ಕೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಒಂದು ಮಾತ್ರ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇದು ಯೂಶಲಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಷನ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಹೈಯರ್ ಎಂಥಾಲಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಗಿವ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ರೀಸನ್ ಏನು ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ಎಂಥಲ್ ಎಂಥಾಲಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಆಟಮಿಕ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಆಟಮಿಕ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಟರ್ಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಡಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಯೂಶಲಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ಕಡ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಝಿಂಕ್ ಸೊ ಅನ್ಕಡ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಝಿಂಕ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕಾಪರ್ ಅಂತ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಝಿಂಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅನ್ಕಡ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಕಾಪರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಅನ್ಕಡ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ಕಡ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆಪನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಆಟಮಿಕ್ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಟೈಟ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ನ ಫ್ರೀ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ವಿ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ದ ಸಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೀಟ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಆಟಮಿಕ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ಕಡ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ದ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಟು ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ದ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೀಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಯೂಶಲಿ ದ ಡಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಷನ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಹೈಯರ್ ಎಂಥಾಲಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಟಮೈಸೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಸೊ ಐ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಂಪೇರ್ ದ ಎಂಥಾಲಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಟಮೈಸೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಡಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಡಿ ಸೊ ಅದರ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಡಿ ಸಿರೀಸ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂಥಾಲಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಟಮೈಸೇಷನ್ ಯಾವ ಸಿರೀಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ that is also very important art of tumba important to me so among 3d among the 3d comma 4d comma 5d series elements 5d series elements only so in which series elements are the higher enthalpy of atomization that is the order of enthalpy of atomization in different series that series is 5d series elements are the more enthalpy of atomization compared to that of 4d series elements compared to that of 3d series elements generally we can say 4d and 4d product elements at of 5d and 4d series elements are have the higher enthalpy of atomization compared to that of 3d black elements so the enthalpy of atomization just ide anta one concept bandaga so from this factor from this important factor so there is a accounting that in atta helbodu andre ee one factor in the 5d and 4d series elements have the higher enthalpy of atomization compared to 3d this is an important factor that account accounting the another factor that accounting that there is a frequent metal metal bonding in 5d and 4d series elements so
5D and 4D series elements. 5D and 4D series elements. This is a very very important. From which factor? So we can conclude the accounting. That is, we can accounting for the occurrence of frequent metal metal bonding. Metal metal bonding. Two plus one plus two comes to 5D series elements. So we complete the data for 4D and complete the data for 3D series elements. Generally, 5D and 4D elements, 4D series elements have the higher tendency to form the metal metal bonding compared to the data for 3D series elements. That is the factor. Our factor that we are going to address is expanded based on the enthalpy of atomization. So it is that in one more clearly, I will see again clearly. But one more clearly. Usually, so deep black elements generally have the higher enthalpy of atomization. Due reason that can be done. So I have written the answer that is due to strong interatomic forces. Nothing but the forces held the metal atoms tightly. Hence, it is requires the more amount of energy to break the metal atoms to get the free atoms. That is the other important physical property. And one more that is called as melting point. Melting point and also the boiling point, but most important one is melting point. Generally, I will tell you again, the end block elements are in the higher melting and boiling point. So, reason is higher melting and boiling point, but again, again, because due to strong metallic bonding, strong metallic bond, strong metallic bond. So, what is the meaning of metallic bonding? That is very important actually. Metallic bond is nothing but that is occurs in metal only. So that is the electrostatic force of attraction between the kernels and the C of electrons. Kernels and C of electrons. Kernels is nothing but a positive ions. Positive ions and the one that are positively charged and the one that are nucleus and the one that are so nucleus and the one that are positive charged and the one C of electrons. Electrons are revolving around the nucleus and there is a strong electrostatic force that is exhibited between the kernels and C of electrons. It's called as so metallic bonding of the derivative. And due to strong metallic bonding in the metals, definitely the black elements and the straw are your melting and boiling points. So, in the usual question, so it really was a technical question in a point of the so in the case of melting point conceptually the melting point is maximum at the middle of the series of the so this is very very important and also for cd one more color of the cd melting point is maximum maximum at the middle of the each series middle of each series Nothing but 3D, 4D, 5D, and 6D series elements only. Middle of the each series only, melting point the graph in another maximum work. That is what the karma is about. So that the melting point and the concept of the melting point are that is mainly depends on the metallic constant. That is strength of metallic point and the melting point are that that strength of the metallic point is mainly depends on unpaired electrons. So what is the relation? As the number of unpaired electrons increases, strength of the metallic point is increases. As the strength of the metallic bond increases, definitely the melting point increases. Again, the melting point is depends on the strength of metallic bond. Metallic bond strength is depends on unpaired electrons. As the number of unpaired electrons increases, definitely the strength of metallic bond is high. So, as the strength of metallic bond increases, definitely the melting point increases. So, in more of that, I totally explain one of three. So, what is the question? Mel the melting point in the three black elements is maximum at the middle of the each series. The reason is so. As per I, I wrote the that is electronic configuration of 3D black elements. We have to observe the observed model. Right? So scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese. Next one is iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, and zinc. And that's all. So we observe the model. Okay. So first we have the forest to fill up. After that, we have 3D one part of that. Next will be 3D two. Next will be 3D three. Next will be 3D four. Next will be 3D five. After fill up part of that. So in the case of scandium, it is a one unpaired electron. So just to refer the electronic configuration. So in the case of titanium, there are two unpaired electrons. Vanadium, three unpaired electrons. Chromium only. So we'll get the six unpaired electrons actually. So here, sir, 3D five, four S one very pretty. Five unpaired electrons, 3D five, and four S one. All those are one unpaired electrons there. Again, nine S only five unpaired electrons are there. Again, the list are there. Four unpaired electrons are there. In the case of three unpaired electrons, here two unpaired electrons, here one unpaired electron, here there is a C one unpaired electron. So you observe what? Here, can you exactly four unpaired electrons? Right? By now, only 3D six, sir. One pair of unpaired. So pair of five, right? Or can one pair of five? Then we will get another four unpaired electrons. 
ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಟಿಪ್ ಅಂದಾಗ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಗೇನ್ ಟೂ ಪೇರ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಗೇನ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ತ್ರೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನೀವು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಆಸ್ ಬಿ ಅಪ್ರಾಸ್ಟಿ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಿಯಂ ಟು ಜಿಂಕ್ ಅನ್ಪೇರ್ ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಮಿಡ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಾಗ ಸೊ ಅಂತ ಮಿಡ್ಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಿರೀಸ್ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅನ್ಪ್ರೇಟ್ರನ್ಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಅನ್ಪ್ರೇಟ್ರನ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟಾಲಿಕ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟಾಲಿಕ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮೆಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಮಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಿರೀಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ಪ್ರೇಟ್ರನ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಬರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಮೆಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಮೆಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಿ ಮಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಿರೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬರೋದು ಇಲ್ವಾ ಮತ್ತೆ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಬೇರೆ ಪಾಕ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಬೇರೆ ಪಾಕ ಹೋದಾಗ ಮೆಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಕಡೆ ಸಾರಿ ಅನ್ಪ್ರೇಟ್ರನ್ಸ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ಪ್ರೇಟ್ರನ್ಸ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಆಸ್ ಯೂಶಿಯಲ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟಾಲಿಕ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಆಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟಾಲಿಕ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಮೆಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಮೆಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಮಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಿರೀಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಮಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಿರೀಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಲಾರ್ಜರ್ ಆರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದಾಗ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂಥ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟಾಲಿಕ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೆಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಮಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಿರೀಸ್ this is a very 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 important for one more for also for competitive exams and there is a one exception case again so what is the exception case in the case of the manganese and technetium manganese and technetium so manganese series only manganese rare technetium rhenium and the other in the case of manganese and technetium for the right electronic configuration in the case of manganese in the case of manganese we get 3d5 4s2 and in the case of technetium and rhenium that is 3d 4d 5 like that. whatever it may be the shell number 3d or 4d yavudu varaki totally there is a completely sorry exactly off field configuration off field configuration andaga anpada plus 5 varutte that is a maximum actually 6 or more than 5 will be maximum bandar so like 5 and plus 3 and more than we have to melting point just to be but anomaly anomaly so manganese and technetium even though they are in the five anpa electrons so think but if i configuration is the same their melting point is less their melting point is less this is very very important this is anomalous property anomaly anomaly so anomaly the manganese and technetium even though they are in the d5 configuration but in but maximum number of one per electrons their melting point is less so here again that is also depends on the crystal lattice metal lattice yav rite ne to an ide anta to melu santhe ganagutte melting point concept depend aagta hogutte so not only strong metallic bonding at the same time intraatomic force na check madbekagutte metallic lattice structure en barutte nimma solid structure study madta hogtivi bcc fcc and simple cube hcp inta study madta hogtivi alli metal crystal lattice yav rite ide avu structure melu sa nimige melting point depend aagodrinda so anomalous property experimentally proof sikirodu manganese and technetium even though they are in the anpra electrons ಫೈವ್ ಅನ್ಪ್ರೇಟ್ರನ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರೂ ಸಹ ಮೆಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಲೆಸ್ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಇಂಥ ಒಂದು ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಜಿಂಕ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಜಿಂಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಸಹ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಡೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಲಿಟ್ಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನಲ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನೂ ಸಹ ನಿಮಗೆ ಮೆಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಮಿಡ್ಲ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಬಟ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ಮ್ಯಾಂಗಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಷಿಯನ್ ಮಿಡ್ಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಬರೋದು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿರೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿರೀಸ್ even though there is a product of trans maximum number it is a melting point come over but is taken as some exception case of anomalous properties that's about the concept of a melting point so i am one more so let me take zinc cadmium mercury so zinc cadmium mercury they are soft metals they are soft and they have lesser melting point melting point is very 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 less it is a again the repeated question why the zinc and magnesium and mercury they are soft in nature metals
when you observe the electronic configuration of these elements, there is a completely filled orbitals. Nothing but there is no any unpaired electron. Is there no unpaired electrons in completely filled? It is unpaired electrons in the so unpaired electrons can dissolve the strength of metallic one and the way unpaired electrons in the and the mother metallic one strength and the other karma. Nothing but metallic cell, strong metallic one, no weak metallic one in the so because of weak metallic one, the melting point is weak. At the same time, hardness and softness also depends on the interatomic force and also the metallic bonding. So again, we get that there are hundred percent silica, hundred percent silica, the metallic one strength is very high, but metallic one is very very weak. Therefore, zinc, carbon, mercury are soft and having low melting point. And this is the reason for the one of the important factor. We know that mercury is taken as a liquid metal. Mercury is taken as a liquid metal. Why it is taken as a liquid metal? So the even room temperature of the liquid again is taken. Why? Melting point is very high. So what is the melting point of this mercury? That is about minus thirty nine degrees Celsius. Minus thirty nine degrees Celsius. What is it? Just to temperature cool it down. So minus thirty nine degrees Celsius. So let me get mercury melt at that. What is the reason for that? That is a very very important question. Mercury is a liquid metal. Due reason because in the case of mercury, there is a completely filled orbitals. Because of completely filled, nothing but there is no unpaired electrons. Since there is no unpaired electrons, definitely the metallic portion is very 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 weak. So because of that, it is a very soft and as I am the low melting point. Because of that low melting point, that is exist as a liquid at room temperature. That is exist as low temperature liquid and metal liquid at room temperature. Hence the mercury is called as a liquid metal. So these are the simple important physical properties of uh, D block elements, especially melting point, enthalpy of atomization, and density. So under this, number of questions, bandhi dalde one mark kali. Ab wala complete exam sali. So how to remember all those things? And in exceptional cases, yaar wo bata so ko din kili. And some reasons get the open. The reason that questions are there. Ya ke enthalpy of atomization jasti hai. Ya ke zinc and carbon mercury soft hai. Melting point attack karna hai. Again, that is all the factors you observe madi. Ili one day factor jasti hai na attack hai. That is metallic one. And one more is interatomic force. Interatomic force is the density concept is not the way. Melting point is not the way. Enthalpy of atomization is not the way. So these are all the factors that are physical properties of uh, D block elements. Now I am going to start the important periodic properties. So we know the periodic properties that is a metallic radii, sorry, what is that? Ionic radii and atomic size or atomic radii, ionization enthalpy. Variable oxidation states. So these are all the electron affinity, electronic affinity concept. Today, but in D block elements, we are going to study the main concept that is variation of atomic size and another one is the ionization enthalpy. So let me ask the two important periodic properties. How it is varies in the case of D block elements. First one, variation of atomic radii and ionic radii. But the simply atomic size. Variation in variation in atomic or atomic radiation. So simply atomic size, especially in deep black mirrors. So before entering into deep black elements, in variation atomic and ionic radii in deep black elements, generally we know that. So across the period and down the group. So what happens across the period? Across the period, size or atomic radii goes on decreases. Reason because due to increasing in effective nuclear charge. So what is the meaning of effective nuclear charge? That is the force of attraction acting on the valence electrons from the nucleus. अरे न्यूक्लियस से वो मत है ना हम इलेक्ट्रॉन्स से वो ये न फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन ये रहता है डेट इस तरह से ऐसा ही इफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज आता है सर रिएक्शन करना है रहता है सो अप्रॉस से पहले निम्न ऑब्जर्व मरी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंप्रेशन बरीता Third period elements are formed. That means electron helium attack. Third period, third shell can react. Now, across the period, then we get electron helium attack. Then one day shell can react. And atomic number increases. 
ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಅಂತ ಸಿಂಧುಡ ಸೇಮ್ ಶೀಟ್ ಸೊ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆದಂಗೆ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ಸ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಾನ್ ಆಟಾಮಿಕ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಾನ್ ಅಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಡ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸರ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆದ್ರೂ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ವಾ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅಲ್ವಾ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಶೆಲ್ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಆಗ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಒಂದೇ ಶೆಲ್ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಒಂದೇ ಶೆಲ್ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಏನಾಗಬೇಕು ಒಂದೇ ಬರ್ಬೇಕು ನಮ್ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಈ ತಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಯಾವ ಕಮರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಯಾವ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಶೆಲ್ ಇದೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಶೆಲ್ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಒಂದೇ ಬರ್ಬೇಕು ಅಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ನಿಮ್ ಬರೀ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಆಗ್ತಿರೋದು ಒಂದೇ ಶೆಲ್ ಗೆ ಆದ್ರೂ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಒಂದೇ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಿರುತ್ತೆ as the positive charge increases the force of attraction between the positive charge and the nuclear and open motion electron also increases and the effective nuclear charge in that charge just it is effective nuclear charge just it the force of attraction between the nucleus and the open motion electron increases force of attraction just it is that is the nothing but size is goes on decreases that is a factor adhe nimge downy group aade downy group bandaga nu shell aagta hogutte so adhe nan bartide adhe lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium anta thagondre the last electron entry aagbekadre nu shell ge entry aagta hogutte adre first shell ge entry aagutte second element thagondaga second shell ge entry aagutte third shell ge entry aagutte avaga nimge distance en aagta hogutte adu jaasti aagta hogutte as the distance between nucleus and open motion electron increases nothing but atomic radius atomic size atomic size just like that so as we down the group new shells are added so therefore atomic size or radius goes on increases and the size just like that and automatically we got the effective nuclear charge from the other way like the distance just like that and the force of attraction between nucleus and open motion electron decreases so decrease i thought the size and the just like that this is the general concept all you have studied in the first quiz in the chapter classification of elements that is a pretty property So, that is the D-black elements level of division. Same thing as is here. So, again, D-black elements are all charged across the period. So, across the period, let me take the across the period, scandium, titanium, veridium, chromium, manganus, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, and zinc. That's the one. That's the three series, the one time. So, generally, in the matter of that, variation of atomic radii or ionic size, not to atomic size, ionic radii, how do you do it? definitely that is goes on decreases across the period only the reason is because due to increasing the effective nuclear charge and the d-black elements are applicable at the same as 100% d-black elements ko adhe concept apply agutte because due to increasing in effective nuclear charge definitely size is also decreases across the three series elements but one factor i want to explain in the case of the 3d series na 4d 5d thagondre general like enagutte anta alli helidini so in the 3d series elements particularly concern mark this is not in our syllabus actually but adna bekar itko kelbodu a question na kelbodu nimage so yen andre nimu one sulpa values na observe madre scandium in the manganus work one tara variation bartare so one aada mele iron in the up to copper or around copper work one tara variation bartare sulpa slightly nimage sikkana one option bartare ಸೊ ನಾವೇನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಜನರಲಿ ದಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಆನ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೇಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಅಫ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಗೋಸ್ ಆನ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಗಲಿ ಬಟ್ ನಾನು ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂತ ಏನಪ್ಪಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಿಯಂ ಇನ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ರೋಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಸೈಜ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನೋ ಡೌಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ರೀಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಏನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ವೆನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ರೇಡಿಯಾ ಯಾರ ಮೆಟಾಲಿಕ್ ರೇಡಿಯಾ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಐರನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ರೋಸ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಐರನ್ ಕೋಬಾಲ್ ಟಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಪರ್ ಅವನ್ನ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನೀವು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ the atomic radii of the atomic size is almost similar 125 picometer 126 picometer the last of difference you will matte you will matte radii difference tumba barodina so sulpa difference illa 1 picometer difference bartha irutte andre ent thagonta idine iron cobalt nickel copper anta thagondaga almost similar atomic radii barutte an
ಸೊ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಯಾವ್ದಕ್ಕ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ್ದು ಸಿಕ್ಕರ್ ಆಗಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕರ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಗೊತ್ತಿರುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಸ್ ಒಂದು ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಸ್ ದ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಶೇಪ್ ಯಾಕೆ ನಾನು ನೋಡಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ 3d1 3d2 3d3 3d4 3d5 3 ನಂಬರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಶೇಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೋ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ದೇರ್ಫೋರ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಇನ್ ಕೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಯೂಶುಯಲ್ ಆಗ ಇಟ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಲೆಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಆಗಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾ ಸರ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರಿಟಿ ಬರ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್‌ಪ್ಲೈನಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇದು ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂತ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವೆಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವಿಸಿಟಿ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಸಿಟಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಸೊ ಈಗ ಈ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಗೂ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂತ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅನ್ನ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಶೇಡ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಶೇಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂತ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದರ ಮತ್ತೆ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂತ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಥವಾ ಶೀಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಯಾವಾಗ ನಿಮಗೆ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ದಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಶೀಲ್ಡೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಶೇಡ್ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕಲಿ ಇವ್ರ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಸರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದನ್ನೇ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೆಯೋದು ಇವ್ರ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಶೇಲ್ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಥವಾ ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ದಟ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಶೀಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಬೇರೆ ಏನು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ದ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಔಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಶೆಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಆರ್ ಶೀಲ್ಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಶೆಲ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಶೀಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ವಿ that effect is called as shielding effect or it is also called as screening effect so this factor ko idu yen sari lagu very simple so iga i nalli thagondaga ps ishta class baruthe d electron 6 electrons baruthe 3d6 4s2 na baruthe so ini cobalt ke thagondaga 7 electrons aguthe ini 8 electrons aguthe long post 9 iruthe but one more 10 electrons add aagutha so as the number of d electron increases so almost to shade out sir idralli intandaga nucleus ide almost to shade nammi bartu 4 ekena na bare edeno 3d 4s anta beruthe so almost to shell is 4 so almost to shell 4 intandaga yuvur matte yuvur matte irttakanta electrons na third shell alli irttakanta electrons ena aagbeku athwa second shell alli irttakanta electrons ena aagutha shield maadbeku so alli main concept to shielding effect na thagondaga na 3d electrons na thagondu ekena electron fill up aagta iru 3d alli so 3d electrons are jaasti aagali electrons as the electrons increase in d orbitals the shielding effect increases so and then that the electrons present
ಶೇಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಸೈಜ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಯ್ತು ಸೈಮಲ್ಟೇನಿಯಸ್ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾರೆ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಸೈಜ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕೊಂಡ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಸೈಜ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅದ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಸೋ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅದ ಅರ್ಥ ಏನು ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಯಾವುದೇ ಶೇಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆಯೋ ಅದು ಏನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ನೋಡಿ ಶೇಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆದ ಸೈಜ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಶೇಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೈಜ್ ಏನಾಗಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಅವೆರಡು ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಐರನ್ ಕೋಬಾಲ್ ನಿಕಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೋಬಾಲ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ರೇಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಶೇಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಏನು ಬರಬೇಕು ಸರ್ ಅಕಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗನಸ್ ಟು ಕಾಪರ್ ಅಥವಾ ಐರನ್ ಟು ಕಾಪರ್ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಂಡಾಗ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಶೇಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಂಕ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಇವಾಗ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಒನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಪೆಕೋಮೆಟ್ರಿ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂತ ಇನ್ಕೋ ಕಾಪರ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸಿಂಕ್ ಇಗೆ ಒನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಅಥವಾ ಒನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಅಷ್ಟು ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಇದೆ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಬರಬೇಕು ಸಿಂಕಲ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಂಟಲ್ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಸೊ ಈಗ ಸಿಂಕಲ್ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿ ಟೆನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಅಂತ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಆರ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಯಾಕೆ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿ ನೈನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಸ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಾಪರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಪ್ಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿ ಟೆನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಂತ ಬರೀ ಸೊ ಇದು ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಡಿ ಗೆ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಫೋರ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಆಗಿದ್ದಿಲ್ಲ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಬರೀಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿ ನೈನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಾಪರ್ ಬಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಸ್ಟೆಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಏನು ಬರ್ತೀವಿ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿ ಟೆನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಬರ್ತೀವಿ ಬಟ್ ನಮಗೆ ಡಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಅಂತ ಯಾಕೆ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಎಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಆರ್ಬಿಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲದ್ರೆ ಸಿಂಕ್ ಈ ಬರ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿ ನೈನ್ ಇರೋದು ಒಂದು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಆರ್ ಆದಾಗಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿ ಟೆನ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಮಾಡಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಆರ್ ಆಗಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನೈನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ರಿಪಲ್ಷನ್ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ರಿಪಲ್ಷನ್ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಎಲ್ಲವೂ ಸೇಮ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ರಿಪಲ್ ಆಗ್ತಾರೆ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ನೈನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಆರ್ ಆಗಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಆರ್ಬಿಟಲ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ರಿಪಲ್ಷನ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಆರ್ಡ್ ಆಗ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ರಿಪಲ್ಷನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ರಿಪಲ್ಷನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೋ ಈಗ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ಗೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಯಾವಾಗ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಆಡ್ ಆಗಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಈ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ರಿಪಲ್ಷನ್ ಬರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಆರ
when we are pregnant niobium and tantalum is the molybdenum and both from it is so important concept is the atomic size and atomic array of elements belongs to same group of 4d and 5d series that is atomic array of elements belongs to same group of 4d and 5d series having same atomic array and atomic array and atomic the same is that this is a very very important most repeated for in, uh, in your competitive exams and also for theory 4d and 5d series elements only one day group only bartakanta elements ge almost atomic array same irutte ant helthane and the zirconium and osmium have the same atomic array niobium and tantalum have the same atomic array molybdenum and osmium have almost have the same atomic array what is the reason for this the perfect reason for this is explained in the f block elements all complete explanation sigutte but i will tell you simple reason so zirconium and osmium niobium tantalum belongs to same group of the 4d and 5d series elements so therefore elements present in the same group of the 4d and 5d series have the same atomic array almost the same atomic array because of one of the factor the factor is called as lanthanide contraction the factor is called as lanthanide contraction This is important question actually. Yeah, black elements are part of that. Lanthanide contraction, I am telling you. What is the cause for the lanthanide contraction? What is the consequence of the lanthanide contraction? So, in detail, I am going to explain in the F black elements. So, so what is the reason? I am telling you. So, so for same group of the kanta elements, especially four D and five D series of the kanta elements, so same atomic array part of that because of a lanthanide contraction. In competitive exams, usual question: Zirconium and osmium have the same atomic array because of. Other than niobium, tantalum have the same atomic array because of so it has properties. That is, if atomic array same with them, then almost it means properties same for it. So they have the same properties because of them. That only reason is lanthanide contraction. So don't worry, I will explain later. The complete details will be discussed there. What is meant by lanthanide contraction? So what is the cause for lanthanide contraction? And what is the consequence of lanthanide contraction? Then here the consequence. So it is. Zirconium and osmium have the same atomic array. Yeah, okay, because of lanthanide contraction. That is taken as a consequence of the lanthanide contraction. Okay, so I don't know what thing. So I need to take check mark there. So let me take the metal here. So when we remove the one electron, we will get the M plus one oxidation state. Charge plus one bond. If we remove the one more electron, again we will get the M plus two. Again one electron we remove again we will get the M plus three. So as we lose the electron, electron lost other than that. What happens to oxidation state? Oxidation state is just there for us. What is the oxidation state? Loss of the positive charge, magnitude of the positive charge and the nuclear charge increases. Plus one, plus two, plus three. Electron when we lose half the energy, then that what happens to size? Definitely charge, positive charge, just there for the energy. Cationic size is always less compared to the parent atom. So parent atom has only metal atom, parent atom that we want. The M one that we want. One electron lost, that M plus one I get. Ill M plus two I get. More electron lost, that M plus three I get. Ill M plus one go M plus size na compare mo na M plus one ikaro na M ni chasti. Aray ni M plus two ko M plus one ikaro na ikaro compare mo na M plus two ko size karo maagat na M plus one ni size chasti agat na. Andra aga na ibig bolsa. So M have the higher size, ionic size, or atomic size compared to M plus one compared to two compared to M plus three. Like that, it can be done. What is the reason for this? This reason is already explained in the first two. See, classification of elements are the what it is. As the positive charge increases, size is not the only thing. Another thing. Simple reason. So that would take in the case of atom, in metal atom only, on the ten electrons in the atom, the ten protons. Ten electrons in the atom. Number of protons is equal to number of electrons. That's why it's taken as a neutron. If you think about it, number of protons in the atom is ten charge positive plus ten charge in the atom. Effect is nuclear charge. So if ten electrons in the atom, one electron will be more than nine atoms. If another electron will be more than nine atoms, eight atoms. If another electron will be more than seven atoms. All the comparative in order, electrons will be more than that. Charge is there, but electrons will be more than that. Comparatively, plus charge just the atom. अलग प्रस्तर जास्ती आती रहेगा न्यूक्लियस ले डार्क कासस द इंटीजिंग इन एफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज एफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज जास्ती है इनका पॉजिटिव चार्ज तो इलेक्ट्रॉन से कंपेयर में मर्दे जास्ती नहीं इंटर ना रहा फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन जास्ती है डेट फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन व्हिच इज एक्टिंग ऑन द वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन से बटिंग बट वैलेंस इन एफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज एफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज जास्ती आती रहेगा मतलब फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन जास्ती आ गया ऑटोमेटिकली सही जना को भी करना आता हूं सो निमे यावगा निमे इलेक्ट्रॉन्स का रिमूव मारता हूं 
So one, two, three, and that's the more that positive charge just like that. As the positive charge increases, definitely effective nuclear charge just like that. Effective nuclear charge just like that. And the person size is also good. Karma is also good. So therefore, always ionic radiation to come that. So M plus M, higher ionic radius compared to M plus two compared to M plus three, like that. M plus four. Okay. So that is also important uh, thing. So variation of ionic uh, size compared to so plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five. Other than neutral atom, we can say how much we have to get. So that is about the variation. Complete details about the variation of atomic and ionic ray. So next one is metallic character. Metallic character. So in the case of these elements, usually they are metals, and they are having they have close pack structures. Close pack structures in their crystal lattice. In their crystal lattice, simply lattice. So what are those close pack structures? So close pack structure concept in the solid state and work actually. What are the close pack structure under for example CCP? Cubic close pack structure under the category. Are there any one more uh, that is called as HCP? Hexagonal close pack structure under the category. Are there the SCP in the work there? Square close pack structure under the work there. Are there the known concept of VCC in the area? So body synthetic cubic structure under the category. Simple cubic under the work there. So these are all the concepts of VCC, CCP, HCP, SCP. So it's CP. The line of one thing, right? So these are the closed pack structures, except the VCC. Are the stone closed pack structures? Are the closed pack structures? Are the main experiment? The cubic closed pack structure and hexagonal closed pack structure and square closed pack structure are there. But mainly, we are going to one thing. Are we going? But the yaki and the crystal that is different structure. Are we going? So we know concept. We need to first of all solve metal. But the but in the actual explanation, in the just metal cell, in the case of the black image, they have this closed pack structure in there. Lattice and there will be other the typical metal structure work there. And the calvonal will make a metal center one day, calvonal CCP will make a exit target, calvonal HCP will exit target, calvonal BCC will exit target, calvonal simple cubic lattice work out there. So the typical metal structure that can look at the examples in it. Usually zinc, cadmium, mercury, and manganese. These deep black elements have typical metal structure. Typical metallic structure. Typical metallic structure. So, Yavya came into Yavya closest pack structure in the on the box. I can even text put in the material to put it. Just a no for a sapling in the examination of the Kiro in the. But CCP, HCP, and BCC simple cube, you allow concept to make a packing efficiency calculation, allow some of us to talk about that. All the details are going to be there, but other people will link to the other just to make a other metal, so other structures about the metal that is the other one just to do the other problem will put it in it. Just before a body, other than the theory examination in the other, so to begin only to ask that. So metals have a close pack structure in their lattice, and some metals have a typical metal structure, so I will see cadmium, mercury, and that minus. So that's a simple introduction of the metallic character and the metallic structures. And one more important uh, physical, uh, sorry, periodic property that we are going to discuss that is called as ionization enthalpy. So very very important for competitive exams. And also for one more thing in the case of board examination. So ionization enthalpy. Ionization enthalpy. Are simply called as ionization energy. So before uh, entering the ionization enthalpy, in case of B black elements, generally we can say what is the meaning of ionization enthalpy and which factors ionization enthalpy depends. Again, classification of elements is one another. So let me take this is the nucleus of that, and this is the outermost shell. So outermost shell, let me take this is an electron. Right? So you know, we know that there is a force of attraction, definitely electrostatic force of attraction between the nucleus and the outermost electron. 
ಸೊ ಇದೇ ಇದು ಮಧ್ಯ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಏನು ನೋಡ್ಬೇಕು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಅನ್ನ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಟು ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಡೌನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಟು ರಿಮೂವ್ ದ ಔಟ್ ಕೋಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ವಿಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಪ್ಲೈ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ದಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಆನಿಫಿಷಿಯನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ What is energy energy? Nothing but amount of energy required to remove the outermost electron from the gaseous, isolated gaseous atom. On the atom only, outermost electron is the contact electron. The city of nucleus in the remove of the gas, we need some amount of energy. That energy is called as ionization energy. And ionization energy is always positive. Positive value is about that. Because energy now in matter is supply matter. ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದಟ್ ಯು ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಲಿಬರೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸೋಥರ್ಮಿಕ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಬಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಂಡೋಥರ್ಮಿಕ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ ಸೊ ಈಗ ಐನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಯಾವ ಮೇಲೆ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ಐನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬೇರೆ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಬಟ್ ನನಗೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ತ್ರೀ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ತಗೊಂತೀನಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸೈಜ್ ಸೊ ಸೈಜ್ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದಿ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ಸೈಜ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ as the size decreases force of attraction between the nucleus and outermost electron increases so size kadame agodrinda as the size decreases across a period i am talking about across a period as the size decreases definitely the force of attraction between nucleus and outermost electron increases as the force of attraction increases at the effective nucleus ta jaasti aagutide effective nucleus ta jaasti aagutide ani idu matte force jaasti ide adanna re break maadbeku andre they require large amount of energy so therefore ionization energy goes on increases this is the variation of recipe so andre along the group anta banda down the group anta bandaga as usual we know that size is decreases because nuclear alag ta hogutte size increase adanna force of attraction between nucleus and outermost electron decreases nothing but effective nuclear charge decreases therefore less amount of energy required to remove the electron this is a simple variation and the ionization energy ko size ko proportionality in sir size kadame aagta idre ionization energy jaasti aagta idre therefore they are inversely proportional to each other and one more factor that uh, explains the ionization energy is electronic configuration electronic configuration So, it means an experiment of electronic configuration of the one data. So, electronic configuration of the expression of the D and the one, the P and the P and the P and the P. So, if there is a completely filled orbitals, in other words, there is a completely filled orbitals in there. For example, D to one data, D10 configuration. P to one data, P6. If the maximum electrons in the P is actually 6 electrons. Completely filled. That is exactly off-filled in our electron data. Off-field electronic configuration is only D on the one that exactly D5 configuration, P on the one that is P3 configuration. So if there is a exactly off-field or completely filled that the orbitals are present, definitely they get the extra stability. So if there is extra stability, it is highly impossible to remove the electron. So remove mark level is only required the high amount of energy. So therefore, in the case of this completely filled and off-field electronic configuration, we require the large amount of energy to remove the electron because they get the extra stability. So on the other hand, the energy level is different on the other hand. Electronic configuration may be different on the other hand. At the same time, it depends on the screening effect. So screening effect is yes, done. Screening effect is just the tone level. And the force of attraction between nucleus and outermost electron can be decreased by the inner electrons. Sir. And the effect is just the tone. And the force of the curve of the capacity is just the after the end. Right? The force of attraction between nucleus and outermost electron is not the end. Karma is not the end. The force of attraction between nucleus and outermost electron decreases. As the force decreases, what happens? Less amount of energy required. That is, ionization energy is less. Screening effect is just the drive. Force of attraction is not the drive. Force of attraction is not the drive. Required less amount of energy to remove the electron. So therefore, ionization energy and screening effect are in must be proportion. So these are the important factors that affects the ionization energy. So here, now, in the black and white section, we will be able to explain in detail, complete detail, like in the text book, we will explain more about it. But I am going to give some particular examples. So, if you have exams, only get over it. Other than the complete exams, only get over the elements that comparison of the ionization energy get down. So, if you know the concept, it is successive ionization enthalpy. Means, sir, successive ionization enthalpy. Means, for example, first ionization enthalpy, second ionization enthalpy, third ionization enthalpy, we can be not down. So what is the meaning of first ionization enthalpy, second ionization enthalpy, and third ionization enthalpy? So let me take that this is the nucleus, and this is the first outermost electron. Take it away. And this is the first outermost electron, and this is the second outermost electron, and this is the third outermost electron. Take it away. 
So first outermost electron will be in Hagley and the second outermost will be in the third outermost electron will be in definitely there is a force of match. So first outermost electron will be in the energy of the molecule that is known as first energy energy. And the second one is the force of attraction between the nucleus and second electron. One electron is more than one. E one electron will be force it. This is the second outermost electron. Other one will be more force by the energy by force. That is for the second ionization energy. And what is the meaning of third ionization energy? That is the ionization energy. That is what energy required to remove the third outermost electron. That is considered as the third ionization energy. So in that way, the more correlation is present. So relationship are more matter work, right? So I E three third energy energy is always higher than that of the second energy energy compared to first energy energy. The reason is simple reason as the electron removes electron remove other other medium of the element positive charge just the other one. Positive charge just the other one. Now we will give the example of metal metal plus metal plus two metal plus three electron remove other one positive charge just the other one and the effective nuclear charge just the other. As the effective nuclear charge increases, the force of attraction between nucleus and outermost electron increases. So, when the force of attraction just the other electron and other electron, the amount of energy required to remove the electron that will be increases. Therefore, so always third energy energy greater than second greater than first greater than. So, if fourth to fifth will be done, that is generally the case. Then, higher order energy enthalpy is always greater than that of the lower order energy enthalpy. If we compare it, the second one is the highest order ionization enthalpy and the first one is the lowest order. So generally, higher order ionization enthalpy is more compared to that of the lower order ionization enthalpy. Even in another category, the successive ionization enthalpy is another category. So then, what is the reason for this? Electron removal is there. So effective nuclear charge just there. The effective nuclear charge just there. The force of attraction between nucleus and outermost electron is just there. So therefore, required energy is high to remove the electron. That is, ionization energy is more. So that is about the successive ionization enthalpy and the factors which are affecting the ionization enthalpy. This is a general. So there are now three black elements of the ionization enthalpy or equilibration. Same or the neighbor will go. Across the period of length only the size is goes on decreases. Size कर में आप पीड़ित हैं तो मतलब force of attraction between nucleus and outermost electron increases as the size decreases as usual. Size and energy energy are inversely proportional as the size decreases energy energy increases. So in 3D series, 4D series and 5D series elements लो साम में गए. So across the period size of the d block elements increase decreases. So due to increasing in effective nuclear charge, hence the amount of energy required to remove electron is very high. This is the general, you know, general and matter of the D-black elements go ide concept they apply. But one of the important thing is D-black elements only now when what we end up first, second, third ionization enthalpy of individual elements are compared with one of the elements. For example, chromium and copper the way. That is the first ionization enthalpy cut my brother, second ionization enthalpy just take that. That is the zinc the way, second ionization enthalpy cut my brother, third ionization enthalpy just take that. So under the half of the comparison, you have to go back. Just I will give you one example and remind you the example next class I explain one thing. So let me take the copper and the chromium. So chromium has got atomic number 24. Configuration is argon 3D5 4S1. So now in the case of copper, atomic number is 29. So configuration is argon 3D10 4S1. So when you compare the first energy energy of copper and chromium, so first energy is the energy of copper and chromium. Chromium copper is less, is lower. Yeah, can we call it in the That is mainly based on electronic configuration. So you guys, you want the electron to remove it. So you want the electron to remove it within the, remember, in the case of chromium, that acquires the stable configuration, D part. In the case of copper, that acquires the stable D10 configuration. Yeah, well, that's the elements of the compounds that they always wish to move towards the stability. Just by losing the electron, it immediately get the stable configuration. And if stability work at the end of the day, the electron is not going to be easier to move. So easier to move, then the energy required is very less, nothing but ionization energy is less. So first ionization energy of chromium and copper is low because after again losing the one electron, they easily get the stable electronic configuration, stable configuration. 
in the stable configuration also d5 and in the stable configuration d10 completely fill the orbital completely sorry uh, exactly off filter so off filter to completely in the and then there stable configuration is that stable it requires large amount of energy to remove the electron so therefore ionization energy first ionization energy of carbon to be missed low because to get the stable electronic configuration in the case of chromium completely exactly off filter configuration and the case of copper completely filled configuration stable configuration but so once the stable configuration but all the one electron remove it mele nimage porous kattu okay all the porous is like ये उल्लू कोणी दिया हो 3d 10 रूल कोणी दे सो नेक्स्ट 3d 5 रूल कोणी दे ये किधर ले रूल नोट बैक हो सेकेंड और मोस्ट लेफ्ट में भी मोड़ बैक किया फर्स्ट और मोस्ट ऊपर आएगा ये का सेकेंड एनेशन एनर्जी कंपेयर मार लगा सेकेंड एनेशन एनर्जी ऑफ क्रोमियम एंड कॉपर इस हाई क्या की जास्ती कर रहे so you have one electron the more to mele adu the more ke kadame energy bekagittu because to get the stable configuration once the configuration is stable and the electronic configuration d10 d5 agogide andre so from the stable electronic configuration it is very difficult to remove the electron and the energy requirement is very high therefore energy is high very very important second energy entropy of chromium and copper is high new reason andre because so in the case second ionization entropy bari bekadre there is a stable d10 configuration in copper and in stable d5 configuration in chromium therefore stable configuration of the it is very difficult to remove the electron first ionization entropy kadme agle answer because al stable irudilla aa electron remove agadrinda stable varutte so alge separate kade hogbeku andaga then easily loses the electron athwa easily gain the electron but the metal are going to electron in a bit loss of the go by this by losing the one electron so we will get the stable configuration other than that the electron easier loss are easier loss are there in that so it is need not to worry about the energy large amount of energy because it is less amount of energy required to remove the electron so in the case of chromium and copper first energy entropy is less second energy entropy is higher so like that other thing we will get zinc cadmium mercury ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗನಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಐರನ್ ಸೊ ಇವು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಿ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ದೋಟ್ ಕಂಪೇರ